discussing about the advantages and disadvantages of unsupervised learning a question might arise that what is the basic difference between the supervised learning and unsupervised learning so here you can see in the picture that in supervised learning a trainer or let's say teacher teaches the student he trains the student let's say several models in such a way that they can respond to the corresponding inputs Unsupervised learning is such a format in which the student learns by itself. That means no labeled set of data is had or we can say that he or she doesn't have any respective output which are needed to be given. He itself classifies several algorithms and learn accordingly and that is an unsupervised learning. Now let us discuss about some more differences which are there in supervised and unsupervised machine learning. So the very first difference that is in supervised learning we have our own algorithms and are trained using the labeled data whereas in unsupervised learning the algorithms are trained using unlabeled data in supervised learning model takes direct feedback to check that if it is predicting correct input according to the output that means the correct prediction is done or not whereas in unsupervised learning model does not take any feedback supervised learning model predicts the output whereas the unsupervised learning model finds the hidden pattern of data one of the major differences is that in supervised learning input data is provided to the model along with the output that means input is also provided and output data is also provided which we classify and fit the model according to the x train y train and y test s test which we done but in unsupervised only the input data is provided to the machine no output data is provided supervised learning can be categorized in several classification and regression problem which we have done whereas unsupervised learning can be classified in we just now studied about the clustering and association in these two things it can be classified now supervised learning model produces an accurate result whereas the unsupervised learning can use those cases where we have only input data and then it corresponds to the output so that means it gives less accurate result so this is about the supervised and unsupervised machine learning differences also in supervised machine learning we studied about linear regression the logistic regression and the decision tree so all these are actually various algorithms which are performed using the supervised machine learning whereas here we have discussed in brief only and we will go in detail also about clustering KNN and a priori algorithms. So it consists of them. So these are the very basic differences which can be classified among the supervised and unsupervised machine learning. Next, we are going to discuss about the disadvantages and advantages of unsupervised machine learning. So coming firstly to the advantages, the very first advantage is that unsupervised learning is used for more complex task. as compared to the supervised learning because in unsupervised learning we do not have the labeled input data
which we have discussed also while we are briefing about the unsupervised learning that it is not possible that all the time you get the proper label data along with the respective output so that's why it does more complex tasks unsupervised learning is preferable as it is easy to get unlabeled data in comparison to the label data which is quite same with the other thing that it is easy to get unlabeled data Now this unlabeled data only actually brings up to the disadvantages of the unsupervised machine learning because it is much difficult to process. As in supervised learning it is done not a lot the corresponding output in supervised learning we have a corresponding output and according to that we train our algorithm in the machine so that it gives the respective output but that is not possible with unsupervised learning the result of unsupervised learning might be less accurate also And why it be less accurate? Obviously because the data is not labeled and algorithms do not know in advance that what the output is going to be, which is known in the supervised machine learning. Also the information obtained by the algorithm may not always correspond to the output that is required. So that is also we need to clean that particular data. So data cleaning is also a big step which is required here and the user has to understand the map the output obtained with the corresponding label so user has to understand that that how can the mapping be done whereas here machine used to do that in supervised learning so these are the few advantages and disadvantages of unsupervised learning so by the end of this video we have discussed about all the theoretical portions of what is supervised machine learning the examples why it is important what are the types of it where is it applied what are the several advantages and disadvantages of unsupervised machine learning and also we have classified several differences between the supervised and unsupervised machine learning for more about this we will look into our upcoming videos